Welcome to another valve seat cutting video. This time it's with the Surdy 100. So this uses a tungsten carbide pilot that is uh, the correct fit into the head or into the valve guide. And then it's centralized with this uh, bubble gauge for a rough um, centralization. Uh, also, there's angle adjustment if it's a straight angle on the valves or if it's a compound angle, this whole table with the rail around it will tilt up to 30 degrees, I think. So the whole bench will tilt. So if you've got a compound angle, like a Pinto head, it can do that as well. Um, it has uh, air float, so there's an air float for the upper section there. It also has an air float on this main table. Um, so if I turn that, I can literally move the head backs and forwards. And also it has the float on the head itself. I'll just drop that down a bit. Okay, turn that on. You can see that it's on a, a spherical uh, ball, which is up inside there the size of a small football. Uh, it's got a vacuum gauge there for checking valve seal. Just cut these seats on this head uh, with a three angle cutter which you might be able to see in there. So this is the pilot that rotates uh, with the cutting head. I'll just turn that on. And the profile of the uh, tool here. I don't know if I can get a better view of that. It dictates your valve seat. So you can see that's Got a 45 in the middle, 30 on the top, and a 60 for a throat cut, which is what it's produced on here. Uh, this is a machine that Surdy started making back in the 80s. This is a 1989 model. Uh, but still works well. Uh, I can use it for a head up to up to the ends of these uh, bed stops on the end, which equates to about a 70 inch head, I think, and up to 200 kilos in weight. So yeah, it's a bit overkill for this A-series mini head. It's a belt drive, so the motor drives a belt in this casing, and then there's a flexible drive or a flexible joint, uh, like a prop shaft that allows the head to move up and down but still give drive to it. And that is the Surdy 100. Thanks for watching.